You saw folding in five. Are you ready to stitch in six? Konnichiwa and hello everyone. My name is Adrian Cully and I'm back in the showroom at Horizon's Innovation Park here in our Biwako factory in Takashima, Japan. When I was a kid growing up in the bindery shop, a frequent job of mine would be to stitch thousands, thousands of booklets for hours by hand. My life was so hard. Kids these days, they don't even know how good they have it. Back in my day, this level of automation didn't even exist. Am I fitting in in the industry yet? Not yet. Yeah, you're right. I'll have to grow my beard out for the next video. You've heard it before, I'll say it again. Our solutions at Horizon are user-friendly, quick, and completely automated. Today, I am going to show you three different job setups on our Ice Stitch Liner Mark IV saddle stitching solution in under six minutes. So we're gonna start with our A4 portrait book. We're gonna move on to our A4 landscape booklet and finally end with our variable page A5 booklet on our HOF 400 high speed offline sheet feeder. So we have, as per usual, Brian behind camera one and Taguchi Sun behind camera two. And Brian's gonna start my timer in three. Let's get into place, two, one, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start by measuring my job sheet here. So we have 426 by 30123. So I'm gonna come to my job setup screen here and we have 303 and 426. Perfect, okay. A4 is gonna be my finished booklet size. And that's the changeover. Quick, as simple as that. Now I'm gonna go to my towers and make sure that they are on tower one. First five bins are on and I'm gonna run a calibration test feed. So what this is doing is that there is a sensor in each of our bins that's going to take a photo and memorize the sheet in the bin to make sure that every single feed is accurate and correct. So you can rest assured that every single time you are getting the right sheets and the right feed. Looks like all of our sheets are there. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our homepage here and run our test booklet. So our order of operations is as follows. Our sheets start in our collator and then our gather here in our accumulator. Moved on to our saddle stitcher here and then finish in our three knife trimmer. So, and of course delivered on our conveyor belt. Quick pause with the saddle stitcher and Moving on, there we go, okay. Sounds like everything's going good, so in the interest of time today, I'm just going to run my job. But usually, obviously, you'll probably look at your test booklet first. So let's see what's going on here while our job's starting to run. Looks great, stitches on the spine, even on the inside. So far, so good. So our books are gonna be delivered here on our conveyor belt. Looking good. There we go. All right, let's see what we've got here. All of our stitches are in line. Looks good, let's move on to job two. So I've got my landscape booklet here. Let's see, this one's really long, 600 by 216. So let's go back to our setup screen. We're gonna go 216 and 600 here, okay. Finish size is gonna be A4E, that's our landscape book template. And then I'm gonna come here to my towers and we're going to have to change to tower two, so I'm turning tower one off, making sure that my bins are on. And again, we're gonna run that calibration test feed. So depending on how the print is and what's going on with your sheets, you can change the sensitivity and the light and everything that's red um, that we have settings for all of those things. So, very customizable to your needs. So our tower is now, tower one moved down, tower two is moving up. It's gonna run that calibration feed. And let's see. Okay, all of our pages are here. So let's just make sure the camera read all the sheets. They look great. Here we go, let's run our test booklet. Again, this is gonna follow the same order of operations. So collator, accumulator, saddle stitcher, and trimmer. Here we go. 
And this, honestly, we can do three in six minutes. So quick, easy, simple, automated, love it. No more saddle stitching by hand. Quick pause at our saddle stitcher here, but everything looks good. Okay, perfect. Okay, looks great. So let's go ahead and run our job. You can see here again, stitch right on the spine, even on the inside. Clean, simple, quality, quality work. So another configuration that we commonly use with our saddle stitching system is also the 1000L collators. So the 1000L have 10 bins, 600 has six. So that's the difference. And our booklets are being delivered here at our end delivery. Let's see how they look. Amazing, and I still have a minute and 30 seconds to run our HOF 400. Okay, so another awesome feature of our systems is that you can pull any job that you want from memory. So for this job, I'm going to use the memory slot because everyone has customers that comes in at the last second and they need their job and they need it right away. I'm switching to my HOF here. Of course, there's always some sort of rush job or something that they need and they need it immediately. And so if this is a common customer of yours, you can save their jobs in your system, use the memory function, and just like that, my HOF with my Mark IV saddle stitching system is running in no time, in under 45 seconds, which is incredible. So my tray is moving up, perfect. And my high-speed offline sheet feeder uses starting and ending marks to measure the where the booklet starts and ends, which is how we're able to do variable page count booklets, you know, depending on your needs. So that's great. Again, my booklets are being delivered here. And let's see. Stitches are in line, looks great. Job is completed. Awesome, under six minutes. Thank you so much for watching Stitching in Six. As per usual, if you want more information on our Ice Stitch Liner Mark IV saddle stitching solution, you can get in touch with your local Horizon contact. Arigato, thank you, and finish first with Horizon.